My name is Isabel Gogo. I'm the founder and executive director of Keeping It Real Foundation. And basically our goal is to inspire change through learning. Because we believe that any kind of change has to start from within, from the individual. What inspired me to start Keeping It Real Foundation? It dates back to when I was in secondary school. I realized that a lot of teenagers are very ignorant about what's going on inside of them and around them. And that's what I tell people. Every child deserves a champion, a mentor, someone who believes in him or her to show the person the right path to take. Someone asked me once, did you choose your path? I said, no. Normally your path chooses you, you know. They're just setting things within you that calls out to you and whether you like it or not, it will keep interrupting your life. And basically that's, that's what happened. I realized that anybody can become disabled at any point in time. We don't have a monopoly on the things that can happen to us. And a lot of these children with disabilities are discriminated against in our society. Uh, a lot of people believe that disability means dysfunction, deficiency, but I believe that there's ability in disability. I've, I've worked with them for like a year now and they're so, a lot of them are so beautiful, you know, and they have a lot of talent. And so, early this year we started a project in the government school in Port Harcourt. That's the only school they have for children with disabilities. And majority of them are young and impaired, about 200 of them. Um, that some of them were blind, who have learning disabilities and mental disabilities. And these beautiful children, we realize that a lot of times the government doesn't pay much attention to them. They finish school, they don't go on to higher institution, they end up being a liability on the parents and guardians. And so what we decided to do was to start a vocational training program for them. You know, take them through photography, videography, bead making, um, woodwork and, and other you know, soft skills so that they'll be able to come out and be independent, be able to cater for themselves and hopefully help some other people as well. We want to have a resource center where young people can come and learn about leadership, entrepreneurship, a training room. We, we, we're backing on a, a huge <laughs> project for in and out of school youths. We called one of our projects graduate assistance projects and a lot of people complain about the fact that young people don't have employability skills. But I think that we should go beyond complaining, we should think about how we can help them to become employable and that's part of what we want to do. So it's a big center, you know, where we also have a space for autistic children. There's another foundation that has partnered with us, Blazing Hearts Foundation. Um, they will have an office there and basically to attend to children with autism. Life doesn't promise us a bed of roses. We have to make the bed. And sometimes it doesn't come in a pretty package. But whatever package it comes in, maximize the moments, do what you can to help the next person because you never know when you could be that person. The call to action really is um, we need help with the center to buy equipment for the visually impaired department, for the workshop, and of course for the resource center. Because it's, it's going to be a hub, really, for not just for persons living with disabilities, it's going to be an inclusive center for everybody, you know, that way we can help as many people as we can.